close your eyes and think thoughts of goodwill. Goodwill is a wish for your happiness and a good a wish for other people's happiness too. Because you realize that if your happiness is going to last, it can't depend on harming other people. So you have to keep their well-being in mind. And of course, you can't go around just making everybody happy. It's up to each of us to make ourselves happy. So when you're wishing goodwill, it's basically a wish that may this person understand the causes for true happiness and be willing and able to act on them. You extend that to other people, you extend it to yourself. And you want to keep that in mind as you go through the day. As the Buddha said, this is a form of mindfulness. It's a form of determination. Goodwill is not the innate nature of the mind. It's something you have to develop. It's something you have to put together. And then keep putting it together, because it's so easy to drop thoughts of goodwill when someone behaves in a way that you really don't like. You have to remember your likes and dislikes can't get in the way. You have to mean well for everybody. And then try to figure out what's the most skillful way of applying that principle. In some cases it means working with the other person, sometimes it means keeping your distance. But the attitude of benevolence has to lie there in the background all the time. That you don't want to wish anybody any harm. Because it's so easy when emotions run rampant to not care about other people's feelings. This is when a sense of shame and compunction just get thrown out the window. So remember, mindfulness expresses itself in being mindful of goodwill. That's one of the expressions. And you have to be determined to do this. So this is why it's a daily practice. They say that to John Munn, and after he got up in the morning, he would spread goodwill to all beings. After he got up from his afternoon nap, goodwill for all beings. Last thing at night before going to bed, goodwill for all beings. And that way, goodwill became the frame for the day, the frame for the practice. So he set a good example. Try to start your day and end your day with goodwill. And of course, carry goodwill th with you throughout the day in between. And that way you're less likely to do unskillful things, and in other words, less likely to harm yourself. So always remember this is the foundation of our practice. After all, when the Buddha taught the Four Noble Truths, it was because of goodwill for his listeners. All of the teachings are an expression of his goodwill. And when we apply the teachings, it's an expression of our goodwill as well.